Hey friends, Future Lee here. Welcome to part two of our Dollywood theme park exploration and day out. Um, if you have seen part one, uh, you saw that it was getting a little bit long. There's a lot going on in the park. It's brand new for us when we've never been here before. So uh, we're really trying to explore as many parts of the park as possible and get on as many rides as possible so it just got a little bit longer if you haven't seen part one i will put that down in the description uh, so you can go and check it out and do suggest doing that because uh, the park is so well themed it's fantastic but um coming up in part two we're gonna jump on uh, quite a few more rides just continue exploring the park um, see a couple new areas to the park as well and just really enjoy our time around dollywood it is such a strange concept to have a theme park owned by country music legend Dolly Parton um, but it's a lot of fun and we do have a great time so if you guys do enjoy the video throughout give us a thumbs up do appreciate it it really does help us out a lot and it would be great if you could hit the subscribe button bell icon to be notified when we post all new videos onwards to part two. Oh, we got drop line here drop line uses what looks like the same ride system as Croc Drop. It looks taller than Croc Drop, right? It looks significantly taller than Croc Drop, actually. Significantly. Look, it's still going up. Still going up. Still going up. I, I bet it is a very good view from up there, yeah. Drop line, this one's called. Oh, we're still slightly going up. Just edging out at the very top now. Oh, there we go. Oh. That's a heck of a drop. That is a heck of a drop down there. So you're coming to Lumberjack Pizza, which is next to Drop Line. You can get a pizza in here. You've got eight inch personal pizzas. You've got pepperoni, cheese, a lumberjack. And you just pick your pizza out of here and then go and pay for it. So we've gone for the lumberjack pizza, which is sausage, bacon, and pepperoni. Obviously cheese and marinara sauce. 11 .99, Eight inch personal pizza. Looks really fresh and really nice. Look at all these little frog pumpkins. Also, there's little uh, jets here, so I'm assuming at some point this should come on. It's not on now, I don't know if it's broken or just turned off for now. Needs to, uh, they need to sort that out and turn it back on, because that would be really nice. You got whistle pump chaser here, which is like a little uh, kiddly winks roller coaster. It's just a cute little thing. A little bit like uh, flying fish at Thorpe Park. Next ride we're going to go on is Thunderhead, and that's a pretty big wooden coaster. Incredible looking ride track, no theming. So, Wicker Man wins this one out with uh, Big Bob there at Alton Towers. Thunderhead. All riders. Enjoy your trip on the wildest ride in the woods. That's what they're going with. Over and under itself 32 times is what we're being told, and it is fast. It looks so fast. I'm quite excited to ride this. Nervous. I'm nervous to ride it, <laughs> but I'm excited. It looks like it's gonna be, looks like it's gonna be rough. Um, ghost Train. Uh, was, was it Ghost Train? Ghost something over at Knott's Berry Farm last year was. Ghost Rider. Ghost yeah. Rider? Ghost Rider maybe, yeah was so rough. It was a fun ride, but it was rough. I think this is going to be very similar to that. Look, they've got a lantern, which is a pumpkin, and the campfire. 
It's made out of flaming pumpkins. What else have we got around here? We've got, uh, is that a beaver? It actually is a beaver. It's a beaver eating a log. Oh, goodness. Fish. Otters. Oh, it's like a river. It's a river. Oh, that's really cool. We've just done Thunderhead, and it wasn't actually as rough as I anticipated it to be. Don't get me wrong, it was still rough. But it wasn't as rough. Some of those banked turns were pretty intense. Just a lap bar. It was very, very similar to Wicker Man, but Wicker Man is much better themed. And then we come off and we've got all of these theming elements here. So bottles of tonics and elixirs carved into the pumpkins. Here lies Ezekiel Allen, age 102, the good die young. That's what it says. I think actually some elements of this place are themed better to dis better than Disney. Like at least better maintained. And they've got far more Halloween. Um, woo! Free shower? Um, it's a bit warm, I do fancy one. They've at least got more Halloween decorations than Disney does. We found the train again! Look at the smoke coming out of it. The sun. We made a huge mistake. We went on Thunderhead, and it turns out the entrance to Big Bear Mountain was next to uh, that drop line ride that we showed you earlier, the drop tower and mystery mine, which means we've got to now walk back up the hill. And it is very hilly here. It is very hilly. We played ourselves, we're going against the crowd now. Everybody's like coming towards us because they've all done the loop that we just did. But maybe they know they did it. Whereas we're like, oh no, we've gone the wrong way. We gotta go back. Also, one thing of note about Dollywood is it is a fairly accessible park in terms of like that the paths are even, but they're not flat. And you're having to go up inclines, down, inclines, all sorts, which is a bit... Not that it's, it's, it's difficult, it's difficult to walk it, you know, like we're, we're getting a little bit uh, perspirated going up and down, but um, it's even worse if you're in an ECV or you're in a wheelchair or you're the person pushing the person in the wheelchair. I wouldn't really want to be the person pushing the person in the wheelchair. That would be, that would be tiring. So we're back up by Thunderhead now. Hopefully we can find the entrance to Big Bear Mountain. Get on that. And the park is kind of a circle, but you can't cross in between, so it's a bit of an awkward layout. So it makes these detours, like you've got to go really back on yourself, annoyingly. But they have got cool things like the Lumberjack Jam Band. Do you need one of those things? Biggest fan. So, it's not yeah, there's no sign to say this is going the right way. Wildwood Grove, there is a sign saying Wildwood Grove back there, but it doesn't say, oh, Wildwood Grove is this way. A curious young girl wandered away from the lumber camp known as Timber Canyon into an unexplored area of Smoky Mountains. Once her absence was discovered, a group of loggers set off in the forest to find her. So let's get ready to Smoky Mountain. So this area is one of the newest 
areas here at Dollywood, I believe. Didn't do a lot of research on the park before coming, probably should have. <laughs> Till and Harvest Food Hall. Tree Top Tower, it's this little acorn drop tower type ride. This is Big Bear Mountain, the ride, I believe. What you hear there is the train, obviously. It's a very loud train. We've not seen this go round. No, we haven't seen it go round all day. But it hasn't said temporarily closed. Oh, did it? Right. <laughs> Becky's saying it did say it was... It's 20. Okay, that's fine. The theme in around this area is not... It's not super amazing. We were saying from the uh, top of the Thunderhead coaster, when all of this is grown in a bit, you know, because it's relatively new, I think it opened in May this year. Once it's grown in a bit, it will be a lot better. They've got a lot of plants around here. Also, they've got all these sunflowers. And the sunflowers really brighten up the area. They're everywhere. Just behind these trees, you've got like a children's play area. It's got like a splash pad. You've got a uh, musical kind of xylophone ride, things like that. Black Bear Trail, which is a little, uh, I don't know. It's like one of those like horse galloping rides. But yeah. in bear form. There's a there's a fairy. Oh, how do you do? <laughs> oh sweet friend. Oh look at the kid has just run past us. She is so excited to go and see the fairy there. This is a whole new land that they've built here with loads of little flat rides. I don't know if all of the little flat rides are brand new as well or whether they were relocated from another area of the park. I know the big roller coaster was and I think then Big Bear Mountain has been kind of incorporated into this area. So the first one we're going to go on is Dragon Flyer uh, and this is a suspension roller coaster. Try and get some shots of it coming round for you. There you go. This looks like the, uh, the dinosaur one at Polton's Park, the yellow one. Or a little bit like Vampire. There you go. It sounds really smooth. <laughs> Our next ride of the day is going to be the newest ride in the park, Big Bear Mountain. Nice launch there right at the start. We're gonna come back round. Big Bear Mountain. Big Bear Mountain is a moderate thrill attraction. The family coaster includes three different launches, reaches speeds of up to 48 miles per hour, and travels for an underground tunnel. Big Bear Search today. It's not got a long queue, it's only a 15 minute wait as well at the moment. So, can you go ahead and exit down? Big Bear Mountain went down as we were on the platform. I think. It's happened to us twice, yeah. It's happened to us twice. On both their newer rides as well, actually. Both their newer rides, this one and... Uh, uh, was it Lightning Rod? Yeah. So this one, it looks like... When we were on the platform, one of the team members was like, can you hear that? Can you hear that? Not to us, to each other. And it was kind of a... 
I get the feeling that they know what the problem is with it, which says to me that it's either been poorly designed or it's developed an issue and they need to like fix it in the off season. But they did say with Lightning World, that guy said that it's a known issue because the track was built too short with the <laughs> launch. Yeah, the Lightning Rod one that we had an issue with, he said the track was built too short and it misses the launch occasionally. Uh, more than occasionally actually, uh, you know, every few times it'll miss the launch. Um, which is unfortunate because that's a bit of a silly thing. It's not even, you, you know, Dollywood for one shouldn't be doing that. But also, whoever the ride manufacturer is, you would have thought that they would have calculated mm -hmm. and said, you've either not got enough space for the track that you need for your launch, at least for, for lightning rod, or, you know, figure out some other way of doing it. Um, Big Bear Mountain, I don't know what the issue is. They said it was a noise and then they were inspecting the very last train on the ride vehicle. They've only got one ride vehicle in operation today because it's a quiet day. So they have to deal with that one and then get back on, unfortunately. So um, the problem with this though, is the park is a bit of a pain to get back here for it. And I don't know what to do because I really want to ride this ride with it being the newest one. Um, but we've already come back here once to ride this ride having bypassed it by mistake before. Uh, we did we did Dragonflyers, that was cool. I'm glad we did that. But that's unfortunate. It puts a little bit of a downer on your day, doesn't it, when you when, when you can't ride the newest ride in the park. And it had downtime this morning when we first came in as well. So I don't know if I'm optimistic whether it will have downtime again or not. We'll see. We'll figure it out and keep you guys in the loop. New bear who this? There's a bear meeting and greeting. I'm half tempted to get in the zero minute queue and go and meet him. Benjamin Bear. He's quite the friendly bear. He's friendly apparently. To drown our sorrows after Big Bear Mountain went down, we got ourselves a bowl of ice cream. Swirl ice cream. Vanilla and chocolate. It's got an interesting look to it emoji basically is how it looks i think this was like seven dollars plus tax which isn't too bad because we thought we were going to get like a pretty small standard cup that you normally get but we've got a big one and then got a cup of coke as well one thing getting the cup of coke there were like 50 wasps Fifty thousand wasps becky's exaggerating maybe ten thousand <laughs> There were so many wasps around the fountains because of the syrup and how sweet it is. We've got another fairy. we got some good interactions. So we've seen two fairies and a bear in this land. I'm pretty, pretty okay with that. There she goes. With her little pink wings. No, the cool thing about this is like when the kids see them, the fairies in particular, they get so excited. There was a kid that got really scared of the bear, though. The bear was very tall. The bear was very tall. He did look, he looked like Coda from Brother Bear. So we've left Big Bear Mountain area now, and uh, we're gonna go to the Dollywood train, Dollywood Express train depot, uh, and try and ride the train around the park, see what we can see. I personally might come back to Big Bear Mountain later, Becky's like, nah, I'm not doing it. This is a hard park to walk around. Uh, it's not easy to navigate. There's no direct access from here to here. You've got to go all the way around. So it makes it like just really difficult. It's a good park. Their operations in some places have been a bit hit and miss today. Big Bear down, lightning rod down this morning. Uh, kind of frustrating because the rides are pretty cool. The theming's been amazing. Um, but if it does go down like that, it makes at least a little bit of a sour taste. Coming back through all the themed areas. I think we're up by the bald eagle pen now. I think that's around here somewhere. Probably behind this building, this uh, restroom building. I'm, I was sure that you could see Dolly Parton's like wigs and stuff like that here. We've not seen them yet. Maybe. 
Maybe they're in this random shack here. Think they'll be in the schoolhouse today? Probably not. Oh, it really is a schoolhouse. We've got a show going on at the Valley Theatre. Dollywood Express. And they ride the train on a grand circle tour of Dollywood. Just what we want. We come off the train, the Dollywood Express. The coach that we had was Klondike Katie. It I runs think. approximately nine till five. Nine till five. <laughs> what a way to make a train. Um, no, it's a coal-fired train that still takes, didn't they say like 5,000 5, tons a day? Or yeah. Five tons a day, that makes five more tons. sense. Five it, tons a day. Hi. Oh yeah. Five tons a day transports 5,000 people. Oh yeah. That's they, better. That, they gave very strong warnings about cinder in the eye. Yeah. Didn't they? If you get cinder in the eye, we ain't stopping. You gotta wait till we come back round to the port. Not it feels like an emergency because it burns us like hell. But actually, you'll be alright. It made me very nervous. Not really an emergency, basically, is what they were saying. So, anyway, it was cool. It was cool. We got a circle tour. Um, and we, we enjoyed that a lot. Nice and chill, relaxed in time. Next isn't going to be relaxing because we're going to attempt to go on lightning rod again. Big wooden roller coaster, fastest one in fastest one in the park was the fastest one in the world. In 2015 when it was made. In 2015 when it was made. Cool theming area. Look at this. So remember what we were saying about lightning rod being a little bit temperamental. Uh, we just came off of it and it's gone down again. So we got on it, thankfully. Thankfully. But it went down straight away after, which is really frustrating because that's not good if your ride can only handle like a handful of rides and then it goes down. It's not great. Not great operations there at all. Um, heading back into Market Square now, the main area here at Dollywood. We're going to the Spotlight Bakery and get ourselves 
hopefully some cinnamon bread. It's like a full-size loaf. I was expecting just like a little tiny thing, but it's huge. See, this is the cinnamon bread thing. Everybody's like obsessed with cinnamon bread. And then you got apple butter, cherry apple butter, bourbon butter, sweet potato pecan butter, cinnamon candy apple butter, pumpkin butter. Don't know why. And we exit through the gift shop. Literally. The gift shop. <laughs> I bought t shirt, thin hoodie, magnet, cinnamon bread. Apparently, world famous. T shirt worthy. Taffy. What else did we buy? Taffy More times sweet. two. Oh, taffy times two. <laughs> two times taff. Two times taff. <laughs> um, so, that was a good day. It was a good day. We had a lot of fun. Um, the operations of the park, for the most part, were good. Between Lightning Rod and Big Bear Mountain, not so good. Rides themselves were pretty well themed. Um, the roller coaster that we went on that was like a fire brigade roller coaster was really cool with some animatronics, some dark scenes, um, and then roller coaster elements, but it just, you know, like the animatronics weren't great, but you know, it's it's themed, it's really well themed. What was your favorite ride? Uh, my favorite ride, I think, was uh, even either lightning rod at the end. Um, the speed, the speed of lightning rod. They told us it was the fastest one in the world, the fastest wooden the roller coaster in the world, in 2015 when it opened. Um, that for speed. To find out what took over it. Yeah. What, like, what came first. Yeah, absolutely. So either that for speed um, and and roller coaster, or Mystic Mine mm -hmm. for like overall theme. Yeah. That but was that was a painful cool. roller coaster. Yeah. <laughs> that uh, we found out it opened in 2007, so it's like 17 years old. 16 years old, something nearly at the moment. Look, after 16 I years... It could do with a retrack, maybe. It could do with a retrack. After 16 years of operations, rides are going to get a little bit rough. I'd imagine when it, when it first opened, that was really smooth, enjoyable. Uh, it was still enjoyable, just not so smooth. Um, Becky, what was your favorite ride? So. Mine was the uh, Blazing Fire. Blazing Fire, is that the roller coaster with the dark ride? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The roller coaster. Because it was the closest thing to a dark ride that there was. And there was only a couple of drops, and it was rough on the drops, but it was worth it for a little, for a little bit of scenic. Scenic elements. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and, and actually the uh, the water rides here were pretty good as well. The log flume that we had, um, and we had the rapids. The rapids were the first ride that we did. We, we did enjoy those. Those were actually really good, the water rides. Yeah, we got really wet right at the beginning. We probably should have done it like halfway through the day because it got quite warm here <laughs> uh, but hopefully you guys have enjoyed following along i'm sorry that couldn't take you on the rides with us it's just not po the policy of dollywood is you're not allowed to record on rides fair enough we'll follow the rules in that sense um but we had a pretty cool day overall riding some brand new roller coasters riding some brand new rides and just having a lot of fun I think after everything, Dollywood is somewhere that we would come back to in the distant future. We're not going to be back here anytime soon because it's a little bit tricky for us to get out here. But overall, the park has been fantastic. It's been very well themed and we've had a lot of fun experiencing everything that it has to offer. Um, been great to, it would be great to have more time here as always, you know, two days, three days to explore the park and maybe nooks and crannies, but just never factors into the plans, unfortunately. Um, so hopefully you guys did enjoy following along with us and seeing everything that we got up to today. Uh, if you did enjoy the video throughout, give us a thumbs up. I do appreciate it. It really does help us out a lot. And it'd be great if you could hit the subscribe button and bell icon to be notified when we post all new videos. And we'll see you on the other side. Thanks.